take place. So can something of a scandal around a singing competition provide lessons for voters who will choose a new government? A UJ academic says it does. So let me give you the background here. Okozi FM's Song of the Year has raised the ire of some listeners and music fans this after the Muscundi musician Kuzani featuring Umjolo Lowo won the contest over other songs that were arguably far more popular. So Umjolo Lowo receiving nearly one million votes from listeners, while I Plan, for example, which topped the charts at Metro FM, received 90,000. Many were shocked at the result. Uh, for his link to elections, we're joined by Vusi Gumbi, who is a researcher at the Institute for Pan-African Thought and Conversation at UJ. Mr. Gumbi, thank you. Uh, you. You say there's a very simple lesson, but an important one here, that your vote counts. Certainly, um, that's the simple lesson um, from the Ukos, the Song of the Year, right? That if you do not vote, you have to accept that others will make that choice on your behalf. Essentially, not voting is you relinquishing your power and delegating your power to other citizens who may not see things the way you see them and thereby giving them the right uh, effectively to choose a government on your behalf, as we have seen with Ukozi. And I, I was quite interested, you know, um, when you know there was you know, a lot of debate on social media platforms, people arguing uh, that you know this song is quite unknown. I mean, even Kuzan himself uh, was booed off stage, uh, you know, in the early hours of yesterday, you know, as he attempted to get a crowd at one of the social gatherings in Devon to sing to his song, Song of the Year. People literally booed him and um, saying, you know, one of the pop 